part two of the show. It's gonna be like a 15 minute show too. But I'm not, I'm just trying to make some fun of the light of the story. But I don't think if you actually um, went into the mall and you stole, you made a mistake and you didn't think you were stealing a purse, but you took a purse that you were supposed to buy, but you didn't buy. Are you gonna go back and tell the people I didn't I didn't pay for this purse? No, you're not gonna tell the people you didn't pay for that purse because that purse might be like eight hundred dollars. You're not gonna honestly go back and say, "Oh look, I didn't pay for this purse." Why would you? Because now you got the purse you want, right? All right, you got the purse you want it for the free discount. You don't have to worry about saving money to get it. The money that you was gonna save to try to get it, you can put it in something else. Be honest and say you would. I wanna know. From the people watching, would you go back and return anything that you didn't pay for? If you sit there and lie just to be the so people can say, Oh, he's a good person, she's a good Christian, you you're lying, you're not. Nobody's gonna go back in there. I don't give a fuck. You might think about it, and maybe that's wrong. Maybe I, I'm gonna get my blessings, I'm not gonna get my blessings doing this, but then at the end of the day, your hand is gonna be on the steering wheel driving to the stove. You could be thinking in your head, if I'm going to bring this back, like, really? Nah, I ain't going to, you going to turn around. You're not going to go do with it. Because first thing they're going to say, but why you walked out the store and away with it in the first place? Then you're going to be saying, oh, look, man, I know you, you knew what the fuck you was doing. Then if they press charges on you, click, click, you stupid because you wanted to be smart and you wanted to be, you wanted to be a Christian or be a good person and be perfect and bring it back. Then you know what the people gonna be saying to the stove? If I was him, I would have never came back to this bitch. You came back to the crime. Why would you go back to the crime? It's not like they didn't gonna have you on camera putting it in your fucking bag or putting it on your basket and just walking out with it. Then they can use that in court against you. <laughs> but you wanted to be nice and say, you know what? It's not good to steal from them. I'm gonna bring it back. And then you get arrested on it. I didn't seen it happen before. I really, it didn't happen to me. I didn't, was young and naive and had the guilt of saying, man, look, I know I shouldn't have took this, man. I'm going to go back and bring it back. I go back and bring it back. Man, don't buy the fact that I didn't know I took it. He didn't buy the fact that he know I walked. He said, sir, if you knew you didn't pay for it, why would you walk out the store with it? Then when you got in the car, Something should have said, look at your receipt, because all black folks look at our receipt. I don't give a fuck where you at in the world. You look at your receipt, even before you walk out, because those bitches at Walmart would not put your shit in that bag on purpose. They do that. Then they take the money from it, they ring it back up, they, re they rechange it, count it off, cop it, and take the money from it and put it in their pocket. I didn't see that happen. I didn't did it before. It's real easy to do. So when sometimes you think, man, I know I bought these grapes. Why them bitches ain't in my basket? Because they didn't put them in there. Especially if you're a lazy motherfucker and you want them to work and put your shit in there. That's why they stopped having a bag boy. Because the bag boy will bag your bags up and put extra shit in your bag for you. And you'll pay that motherfucker. Because I know I did before. Or you, the motherfucker would not even put your shit in the bag at all. And then you'll have shit that you didn't have in there. Or have other people shit up though. That's just me. But I'm just saying, I want to show you these clips of this girl being disrespectful to this guy. This guy was nothing, but he stood his ground. I mean, he stood his ground to the T. I was him. I'd have got way more disrespectful than he was to me. I would just got real disrespectful. I'd have clowned him. I would have said all kind of shit. That's just me. I'd have made her feel like, bitch, you got me going through this. You got other people watching me, walking by, because black people are nosy as fuck. You got other people watching me get searched, going through a hassle. That's a hassle. Not only do people have to wait until you finish, because people behind you need to walk out. Or they go to the other side. But if they in the, in the back of you, and you got all kind of shit and they searching because they got to make sure she checks their receipt. So, so she, they can't just walk out the door if she don't say walk out. So they got to wait for her to finish with your shit. That looks bad on her when she has to stop doing her her job that she has that's so important. She has to stop to walk you back to customer service so you can look at the items. 
you know how humiliating that is to have to go back into the store with a worker who think and then automatically people don't people don't even think you lost a child people don't even think you lost your keys people don't even think she's helping you to go find something they automatically think he got caught stealing they don't even try to ask you what's wrong. That's the psyche in the blacks. That's the psyche in, in folks, period. We so quick to judge judgment. Like I seen a guy got stopped in the car a couple of days ago. When I was on the bus, everybody walked, everybody was on the bus. It was like, man, he must have got caught with something. I'm the only one thinking, maybe he needed a ride. Maybe he ran out of gas. But maybe he just got caught with something. But you never know. But you think it. It's like if two white boys come up to your door and and ask you about some shit and or two black boys, I'm sorry, two black boys walk up to your door and walk up to your car and you riding in a stoplight. What you gonna automatically think? They trying to rob you, right? They're trying to take your shit. You're not gonna think they need a ride. You're not gonna think, oh, he might um wanna ask me, do I know where a street name at? Because we are stereotyping people. We we want people to love us and treat us with respect, but we don't treat ourselves with respect. That goes back to thinking like a slave. When back then, slaves, the black slaves, the darker slaves used to be the niggas. The lighter skinned slaves used to be the house person. You used to be able to be in the house, in the air, cool and relaxing. You know, you didn't they treated you like you was a child. If you did they stuffed though. You took her did her homework. I mean you didn't do her homework because you really couldn't read, but you did everything for her. You did her laundry, you ironed her gown. You did. You cooked for her. You, had, you bought her stuff to her. You washed the dishes. You cleaned the toilets. But you was a house slave. When you was done, you was able to go up to your room, lay down, take a breather, come back down for dinner, whatever. You know, you had you had little things you can do. You could have played with the kids because you was lighter. Half of the light kids was the master kids anyway. So they treated you like you was their child. Black people, we have been taught from a child, this shit, and it's sickening. It's really a sickness. We need to stop this. We need to stop allowing our people to be like this. We really do. And I, I want this shit to hurry up and play, hurry up and finish so I can show you this, because I have eight minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and start it over when it starts all right guys i'm back i'm going to show you the video the guy explained what he did in the video why he was doing it and this is what happened check it out let me know how you feel about it
Send me an auto on the floor now. Yeah, Yeah, don't make a scene. Don't make a scene. Don't make a scene. It would be feasible to go down the 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 receipt to make sure everything was accounted for. Oh wait, here go the asparagus right here. Oh, the asparagus. Sometimes actions are louder than words. Time that they wasted the 
probably made three or four motherfuckers that have walked out this and shit. And ain't paid for People it. always still out of Walmart. Because they focus on the wrong people. I ain't hurting them. They ain't hurting them at all. Not at all. You play stress in my bag from the car. I'm sorry, folks. Technical difficulties on this. Yeah, the customer is always right. Remember that. Did you please? Explain to you what happened on that last part. She so said she it. wouldn't. Um, she wasn't. She wasn't gonna pick up the bags off the floor after the guy asked her to put the bags into the car. She, um, these people are. She had an attitude. After she was the one that said it looked like he didn't pay for some shit. After she was the one that said it looked like he didn't pay for some shit. She had an attitude. She wouldn't put the groceries back into the bags and, to, and I want you guys to see what the guy did the, the, the foreigner just automatically knew he was stealing so he took the bags away you seeing that in the video the bags were gone after he took everything out the bags were gone that in his head he's already stealing already so I don't I, we're gonna we're gonna prove that he's stealing and then when they didn't prove that he was stealing the bitch had an attitude why are you having attitudes? And I find this in every fucking Walmart that I've been to. Black girls have attitudes. Bitch, you should be lucky you have a job. You should be lucky people want to hire you flip mouth ass. You should be lucky men want to work around you. Because before this, before we gave you your rights, you couldn't work. You couldn't do this. I see fucking women as cops now, fire cops, firemen. I see women as doing construction. Before, you was a stay-home mom. That's all the fuck you did. Now that you have your rights, you're abusing them. I hate seeing this. And it's always a stupid-looking-ass bitch. She got blonde and black hair in her head. Skin complexion, light complexion. She wants to be so hood. She wants to be so black. Does she have to have the attitude with this man? All this man said was, Can you pick up my fucking bags on the floor? That ain't my job. I'm not gonna do that. You fucking me. Sure, could you just do the job, please? This is not my job. I'm gonna do it. Okay, well. Okay, and you don't have to care. The customer is always right. Remember that. Could you please get my bag and put them in the car? I'm not gonna do that. It's not my job. The manager had no problem letting this bitch walk off. If I was her manager, she would have got fired that day. And that's on real shit. Because this man, all this man had to do was go back and call 1-800-Walmart.com 
and calling bitches and make a complaint and say Walmart is being racist. She would have lost her job. The manager would have lost their job. The supervisor on duty would have lost their job. And I hope he see my video one day and do it. Because I'm tired of motherfuckers being stereotyped just because of the color of their skin. Every black person, like the man said, is not a criminal. Every black person is not going to steal from you. Every black person is not going to try to kill you. We do this amongst each other, and we want quality. We want equality. We want people to treat us fair. We want people to take take us serious. We want to take each other serious. This black on black racism. But we get mad when white folks call us certain names. Females, stop thinking that you can beat or man. You cannot. I don't give a fuck who taught you, your brother, your auntie, your cousin. I don't give a fuck if your brother's Charles Broccoli. For the whatever, I don't care if your brother is a fucking five time martial art. Your There's no way in hell you can beat a man, a man's ass. One of the one of the biggest things my, my viewers tell me about females that they talk about, females have too much testosterone. Meaning you think you can beat a man's ass just because of you thinking you can beat his ass because you was raised that way. You was taught if a man hit you, hit him back. You was taught that. White girls don't do that. And y'all, that's why they let y'all cheat on them. That's why y'all let... No, bitches. It's the reason because they know that they man up the fucking king. They know that they supposed to take they supposed to take care of home. They know if they man come home, they man say this. This is what it's supposed to be like. But black girls like to try to go at it and say, No, you... We give y'all y'all rights and y'all throwing back in our face and tell us, Fuck you, basically... We fought, men, men, men fought for y'all to have rights. Men. Y'all didn't fight to go have rights so y'all can go vote. Y'all didn't have, right now Hillary Clinton is about to become president if she do. She's a fucking female. That's never been in history. Black men died so y'all can have that right. Black men died, killed themselves, blood and tears, so you motherfuckers can have a right to vote. And y'all treat niggas like they ain't nothing. Y'all treat men like y'all don't. I don't need no man. Just because Webby bitch has made a song called Independent and Neo. Do you think Webby or Neo wants you? They wouldn't fuck you. They wouldn't marry you. The stereotype female as you are. They want somebody different. Webby is married to a white girl. Neo is married to a white girl. Or was married to a white girl. Now he's married to a light skinned girl. It's never dark skinned girls. But you bitches be out there. Neo this and Neo this. Independent. Indie, but he don't want you. He wouldn't spend his life with you. He not. It's just real. It's stereo, I, you call it stereotypic, whatever. But that's the truth. 99% of the black females do not have anything going for themselves. So you know what they want to do? They want to fuck over with people who do got something going for themselves. Me and my wife right now are doing a GoFundMe. I have buku friends have not donated any any part. You have people putting GoFundMe's up to get a fucking car to get this. I'm trying to make my business start and get this business together like I really want. My wife is trying to get her business started. And motherfuckers don't want to do it. Let us would have been white. Had a white child up there. Oh, we trying to get Timmy a college education. We trying to send Timmy to um to Disney World this year. This is his first time going to Disney World. We need help paying it. They would have sent. They would have been voting. They would have been sending money. But since we are blacks trying to make it something out of nothing, nobody wants to do nothing about it. I don't know, man. I'm gonna continue this conversation on my on my later show tonight. I want to go to one text right quick. From the internet right quick on Google One Text. Lady comments in my video on this after I put this on Facebook. Black lady. Her name is Hold on one second. Her name is Miss Fruity. Miss Fruity said I am a black female and I wanna say this is too sad. That our black females act like this. She's acting more of a man than he is. And she's a, and he's a man. 
It's really sad to see our young ladies act this way, but they want to say they want men to respect them. How do you want somebody to respect you and you have fucking blind hair and black in your head going to work? If you was, if I was your manager, I wouldn't even let you clock in with that type of hair in your head. But they don't want to be white, though. Black girls say they don't want to be white. They don't want to be portrayed as a white girl, but you putting blind hair in your hair? Who's blind? Whites, huh? Who wear red hair? Whites, huh? Your hair is naturally black or brown, and you putting white and purple and all these stupid-ass colors in your head. But you see, you don't wonder why people look at you strange, or you don't wonder why people say, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch? It can be the day after Labor Day, you'll come in that bitch with all white on still. Just because you want to make a scene. You're not making a scene. What you're doing is making people laugh at us. Making people laugh at our race. That's why a lot of black girls feel bad about themselves. Because of stupid ass fucking people.